All right, and it's 1 p.m., so we are back with uh, Twitch Dev. We have Gene here and Paul uh, from Riot Games. I'll let you guys do a quick intro on yourselves. Do you want to start, Gene? Sure. Uh, so I'm Gene. Uh, I am uh, the person you talk to probably most in the developer ecosystem if you do developer relations. Um, and I help empower developers to build anything they want to build around uh, League of Legends or any future games or anything around the Riot uh, ecosystem. Uh, that can be anything from building tools to show stats to um, data science projects for universities to working with massive corporations. And I'm, I'm Paul. I, uh, I lead the team that the Gene's on um, called the Third Party Ecosystems. Broadly, we help these third party developers connect with internal Riot teams to uh, build cool stuff in the ecosystem. So I, I see both sides of that. Gene is, is the uh, player facing side or the developer facing side, and we have an internal facing side as well. So I oversee both sides. Very cool, yeah. I've actually met Gene last uh, TwitchCon at Dev Day, and then we met again at uh, Capital Royale Hackathon. So I've known Gene now for a few months, and you're actually the winner of <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, yeah, yeah. we got to mention that. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm addicted to hackathons. Um, I, honestly, it was I hadn't done one in like a year because we were just so busy at work. And then like I think my fiance went out of town, and I was like, I don't know what to do, and just went back to my comfort zone of hackathons. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Gene won the uh, Twitch uh, challenge. Yeah. It was like a hundred thousand bits. Yeah, I've only used like eight thousand of them. I've been Which trying is, wait, to give away ten thousand dollars of bits. <laughs> Something right? like that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Gene yeah. won a hundred thousand. <laughs> so if you need bits, you know where. Yeah, to... please. Honestly, I, if you're building cool stuff on Twitch or you're building cool stuff at all, yeah. I will send you bits. And he's looking um, to give them to developers. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I tweeted out a little while ago. If you're a developer and you're building extensions, I want to give these bits back because they're just doing nothing for me. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, we also run our own hackathon uh, as well. Like oh. Twitch has a long history of doing hackathons. Uh, I actually was one of the judges for the, uh, the Twitch Dev Hackathon for, a few, uh, for the first one. Um, and uh, I, I see a few members of our actual hackathon uh, teams and people who've come to LA to compete in the chat right now. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so to switch gears a little bit, um, so as you guys know on stream, we've been interviewing uh, quite a few folks from GDC. So today we want to talk a bit more about the Riot ecosystem. Um, like I said, I'm on the developer advocacy side at Twitch and they're on the side at uh, Riot. So um, one other thing in chat, someone was asking if they can ask uh, questions to you guys. Sure. So I think uh, definitely that's really the whole point of this is just to kind of get to know. Uh, I want folks on the Twitch dev side to learn more about Riot and vice versa. Um, so just to kick things off, I think it would be cool, uh, Gene, for you to talk a little bit about like your community, yeah. really, like where do people hang out in your community? Where can folks on the Twitch dev side sort of become sure. a part of that community? Sure. Uh, so we have a very, very broad community where we're active in multiple different places. We actually had to recently uh, consolidate a lot of that because we couldn't keep track of everybody because they were just in so many different places. Um, so actually, there's a blog post we put out about where to find it, uh, but really it is, if you want to learn more about our ecosystem, right, uh, you can follow our blog at riotgames.com. Um, our main community place and the place where we interact the most with everybody is our Discord. That's discord.gg slash riotapi. Um, and then if you, that's where you can get any support. We have thousands of developers who are hanging out there at any one time. Wow. Um, a lot of I got to join. <laughs> yeah, so could. it's discord.gg uh, slash riot, riot API. API. Yeah. We um, need to make one for Twitch dev. What? Because we have a Twitch dev yeah. server. We don't have a link that's as yeah. nice as that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. We have, yeah. We're, we're also a really early user. So we have a lot of people. Um, we have a very active community. Um, shout out to everybody who's always there. Um, we have uh, an amazing support group of gurus and other developers who are there to answer questions because the scale has just gotten so insane. Um, we work um, from any scale of, of, of developer. So we have people coming in who are like, hey, I need to build something to show my, my teacher that I actually understand stuff. And they play a ton of League of Legends, so they obviously want to do that. But we also have things like North Carolina State University now has a graduate school program based on League of Legends data that they get from our API. So there's like eight students or something like I that. Think I think it's eight students. Grad students. Wow. And they, they're grad students and they build uh, API, uh, like basically 538 style infographics and everything around League of Legends. 
Um, we have a lot of people who build things for Twitch specifically, which is really interesting for us because Twitch and Riot are like this from the very sure. beginning. That's what um, I'm told, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and so we have so many personalities in, in that we have from Twitch in Riot and both ways as well. So we are really, really passionate about empowering anybody from any ecosystem to come in, take some of our data, um, and build stuff. And if you are willing to build, we have multiple different ways you can do it. You can go with our static data packages where it's like we make all of our assets available for you to make build stuff. Um, not games. Please don't build games. Um, because I do have to <laughs> talk not? to legal. I have to talk to legal if that happens. Yeah, okay. uh, we don't allow fan, fan games. Um, Interesting. Uh, but uh, we allow you to use like art and stuff like that in your um, de demos, your products, everything like that. Um, as well as we have um, our APIs where you can get match data, personal data, uh, summoner data, champions, all those things. So you can do massive amounts of win rate stuff, um, performance, tiers, all those things. And it's all open. It's all open. I mean, you apply you for like an API. Key. You apply okay. for an API right, key on developer at riotgames.com, and I get back to I get to it. You get a free one that uh, regenerates every day. Oh, wow. Or if you want a production or a personal key that does not expire, you set up an application. It takes me about five days, seven days to get to it. Very cool. Um, and then we approve your. We if you give us a good description, um, we'll approve it. Yeah. Um, and then we have a new thing which we've started to basically endorse and um, allow people to use, which is our lead client API. So if you're someone who builds stuff on desktops, um, we now have uh, ways for you to interact with the client and get pull additional information. Wow, so it sounds like there's basically yeah. tons of resources yeah. and tons of ways to integrate with Riot. Um, do you have any examples of like people you've had a partnered with or just developers you've worked with really? to build uh, some interesting integration, just to kind of give people ideas of what they can do? Yeah, yeah sure. Um, uh, it comes to mind, particularly when we're talking about Twitch, is Overwolf. Um, they end up putting together the resources that help a lot of people build extensions and do so in a way that is aware of what Riot finds what valuable. Overwolf, just in case people... Right, Overwolf is, is uh, what's the best way to describe Overwolf? They're sort of uh, a platform well, yeah, they're for... Yeah, four developers um, who want to integrate with games. Um, oh. They are, they do overlays, they capture information, and they make it easier to, to do stuff. So they have actually even wrapped some of our APIs when you use Overwolf to make it a little easier to grab some data. Yeah, yeah they've, they've taken our work and sort of helped package Got it better it. For, these, for these developers. So those guys, they've done a really good job of integrating with us and sitting down with us and saying, all right, we think this is how we interpret what you're trying to accomplish, and then we bounce back and forth ideas until we get the right space. That's They've done that. Cool. So they can lead new developers into making cool extensions. Yeah. yeah. And we uh, uh, are very passionate about wanting people to be very broad. Like, I, we know that there's a lot of ecosystems out there where people want to be like, only work on our stuff. Um, we want a sustainable ecosystem, so uh, not only do we want people to consider working on other products, we want them to combine those things and be sustainable. We have massive amounts of growth on our ecosystem, so if you're looking for a job in tech and want to work near gaming, we have about 75 openings at companies around the Riot Games API and Riot Data that are looking to hire anything from an engineer to an admin to business development to UI, artists, everything like that because there is so much stuff going on and a lot of funding, a lot of investment going on. Where can folks find these jobs? Jump, in, the jump in our, jump in our okay. developer Discord and ask about it. Um, I have a spreadsheet that I have been collating through GDC because I've been meeting with a ton of different companies here and uh, who of all want to be back, get more involved and expand and do stuff. Um, and I'll, I'll help set up some meetings with those people. Yeah, so I think earlier we were talking a bit about these uh, stat sort of packages that exist and how they're really open to developers to kind of like manipulate and draw analytics and draw different insights. Um, how have you seen people use that to become like better League of Legends players or like any interesting stories? So I'm a bad League of Legends player. I thought well, in I, the I, interview, I, do you have to play or? You used to. Apparently. Really? Wait, what? I was joking. No. Uh, you, you used to, and you used to have to be good. Um, so wow. I, I wouldn't have. Uh, but uh, uh, I was very bad when I started, and I have actually had a marketed amount of improvement uh, since then. Um, they actually will play with me now. Um, uh, but uh, a lot of these tools really have helped me. Uh, I'm going to call it one specifically in uh, um, Mobilytics. They do a really great job of uh, showing me how to learn and get better over years um, or you have seasons and stuff like that where I have been able to identify core things about my play style that I do wrong and that they've helped me improve on. Um, uh, yeah. 
you brought up mobile lytics, so I want to talk a little bit more about why we think, or why Gene might think that it's super valuable. They not only take this data in and, and transform it into something that's digestible for the player to sort of, again, track their, their growth, but they give uh, real examples and contextual theoretical ways to grow. So they don't just take the data and say, you should click this button this many more times. They're saying, you only click this many times and it's leading to this problem. We want to help you solve this problem in this way. So they, they add that extra layer of expertise that, that is really unique, I think, to, to a lot of these products. Yeah, no, that's super cool. It's basically kind of like a trainer, like yeah. an AI trainer. I could definitely use that. Yeah, and, and it was really cool because uh, they won, uh, they were the first gaming company to win TechCrunch. Wow. Uh, they won Tech, tech, crunch, tech crunch Disrupt. disrupt. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, and they blew away, they, they beat out a bunch of healthcare and other different companies. And I was actually a judge there and I was like blown away. Um, so that, that was way before I started working at Riot, but it's, it's interesting to see things go full circle. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know all, yeah, I didn't know all these things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the gaming space is pretty, pretty huge. And like we, we work with so many different people. Um, the opportunities, if you're wanting to, if you're just a student at home, we have so many people who are like, I don't know what I'm doing, and then build something, and then have 100,000 users um, within a week. Wow. And then they're like, wait, I can now pay for all the Chipotle burritos that I want. This is amazing. Or, uh, and then we have people who are doing hundreds of millions of visits. Right. Um, like we have things, we have sites in our ecosystem that are on like the Alexa top 100 visits. Really? 